Hi everybody, and welcome to NorCal Slot Car Scene. A couple of weeks ago, I built the GNS tire grinder and did my first evaluation. Today we're going to get it up and running, and I'll give you my overall impressions. Before we start with the unit itself, let's look at the power supply. Make sure your power supply is adjustable and has a minimum of 5 amps. The motor on the GNS tire grinder has standard banana plugs, so it's very easy to attach to most any power supply. On the subject of the motor, the GNS grinder uses a 55 turn Tamiya motor, which is less RPMs than the Hootie truer that I'm used to. So for the tires that I was truing on the Hootie at 5 volts, I use 7.5 volts on the GNS. Once you've assembled your machine, you may notice that the axle is not parallel to the sanding drum. The GNS grinder has a built-in adjustment screw for this, and that is called tramming. To adjust the tramming, simply turn the screw until the two setup wheels touch the sanding drum simultaneously. I recommend using aluminum wheels for this, since plastic wheels, unless they've been pre-trued, may not be perfectly round. I use a marker on the tramming adjustment screw, so I can tell if the tramming adjustment moves during the truing process. When you install the axle assembly, make sure that the bushings snap firmly in place. If the axle is not centered, it's very easy to flip the unit over and move the bands one or two notches on the pulleys. After I've got everything set up, the first tires that I trued were a complete front axle assembly from a Carrera car. The next tire I trued was a single ultra grip compound tire on an aluminum wheel. Both of these trued very easily. I still have a bit to go on this ultra grip tire, but as you can see here, the finish is perfect. As with any tire truer, eye protection is a definite must. So what are my overall thoughts of the GNS grinder? First, the build process. It's very easy to build. The only negative is the build video. Some of the parts are not the same as in the later units, but that's pretty obvious, so I don't think that's a big problem. It is a little tricky to install a complete Carrera or Scale Electrics axle assembly in the unit. But if you're only doing set screw wheels, that's not a problem, and I would raise this grade to an A. The quality of the unit is first rate. The only downside being that it is 3D printed, and it doesn't quite have the overall feel of a hoodie. But that doesn't hurt the capability as a tire truer. The value is an absolute A+. For $100 plus a couple hours in build time, you've got a first-rate tire truer. And even if you buy it assembled, it's still around $200. So overall, this is an absolutely great unit. And I'd highly recommend this over any of the sanding style truers on the market. So that's my overall impressions of the GNS Tire Grinder. A great machine for an incredibly low price. Thanks everybody for watching. This is Jim Rose with NorCal Slot Car Scene.